Well, it is the third week of Advent. And this week we see and feel ever more clearly God's engagement with the world. Even when called to walk on a challenging path, our trust in God's goodness deepens. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. Some people were talking about the temple, how it was decorated with beautiful stones and ornaments dedicated to God. Jesus said, as for the things you are admiring, the time is coming when not even one stone will be left upon another. All will be demolished. Then Jesus said to them, nations and kingdoms will fight against each other. There will be great earthquakes and wide scale food shortages and epidemics. There will also be terrifying sights and great signs in the sky. Sometimes we would much rather separate our faith from the horrors happening in the world around us. We might even construct a, an invisible wall between our prayer, our church life, and everything else. But Jesus always draws us from here to there drawing our attention into the joys and concerns in the world around us, into the work that has yet to be done. And following Jesus means doing so over mountains and through the deepest valleys. When he speaks to his disciples about the great buildings they see all around them in Jerusalem, Jesus delivers some sobering words about their inevitable end. Jesus knew the ways of the world. He knew how people with power use whatever resources they have to hold on to that power, even if by violence. Jesus knew that great kingdoms eventually fall, that imbalances within and among people deny the existence of equity, and that scary things happen even in the natural world. Jesus also knew how crucial it was that his disciples and us through them understand that our purpose is to not just be here, but to be there and to be there with love. Despite all that can happen in life, despite all of the temptations to gather and hoard power and resources just for ourselves, we are destined to love that gives. We are destined for love. Now, since Jesus was living in his final days, his sobering warning was, was meant perhaps to serve as some comfort to the difficult days to come. Written down years after Jesus' death, it may have been words of comfort to those earliest Christian communities. And then for us, what does it mean for us today? Has your faith been challenged during these last several months, during the year 2020, during this pandemic, or because of waning confidence in our leaders? Are you feeling grounded in this time when families and communities are so divided and disagreeable about how to or if to care for each other through simple acts and through systemic restructuring, every day presents another horrifying surprise, and yet none of it is really surprising in light of all of human history. We're not called to try to escape the changes and chances of this life. We're called to live through them, all knowing and trusting that God walks with us. There's no wall between faith and life in this world because it is that in which we put our faith who is working to transform the world until it looks like the love for which it was created. God is indeed with us, and God is indeed good all the time.